Hey, this is Eric with Cartoon Learning. Somebody was hoping to get a tutorial on the new 3D tools for Anime Studio 7 Pro. So I thought I'd do a quick one for you. All right, first of all, we've got a layer, a vector layer. We're going to go ahead and turn on, we'll double click it, go up to 3D options, 3D conversion, and we'll do a lathe first. If you know how a lathe works, it spins around. Uh, consider this lathe to spin around on a horizontal plane around your origin point on the screen. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, now this won't work, I don't think, if you use the add point tool, but if we use the freehand tool, we can go in here and um, I'll tell you what, I'll create a curve. And notice that I'm creating the curve around the origin point. So it's automatically going to lathe it around in a direction like this. Um, if I were to, to draw this point and this point over here, then it would become a donut. And I'll show you. The nice thing is you can create it however you want, and then you can uh, adjust it afterwards. So if we move this out like this, we would have a circle that would rotate in a sphere around this origin point three-dimensionally. So I'll grab my orbit tool and we'll spin the screen and you can see what I mean. Um, and It has different settings so you can control the look of it. If I double click it again, go to 3D options, uh, I can turn off silhouettes. That would be the, uh, the black outline right here. Turn off materials, uh, creases, then you've got shading options. You can do tune shading, um, hatched, which kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, grass clipping spread around it, and smooth, which I prefer, looks a little bit more realistic. That's the smooth look. Uh, I'll spin it where you can see it and then render. You know, you can render control R. Hey, okay, so control R, which would normally render, is the control for my camera. <laughs> so. That's why my video stopped and seemed kind of choppy. Um, not used to doing it this way. Preview, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like rendered, just so you know. Um, all right, so we'll reset the view. Um, and to show you again what I mean, under the lathe, we can move this, let's move this up and out, and we can make a jar kind of thing. Um, yep. So I'll spin it around, you can see what it looks like. We have an empty jar. Now if I wanted to actually fill an object and make it solid, what I would do is I would take these points this over and I would connect them up at the top and once it's connected we have a solid object there's no hole it's completely filled and the rendered version looks like that all right so that is the lathe I'll show you one more option uh, actually I'll show you both of them Here's the extrude. What extrude does, let me just start over here. We'll delete that and reset the view. What extrude does is it takes whatever shape you want to make and it will make it go uh, at a, a depth into the picture. So that's what it looks like. You got kind of like a slice of bread looking object here. Um, now if we want to change this, what we do is we can go over to the thickness. That's what this option's for, thickness. So we change the thickness to uh, 0.4 and then we take the create object and boom, we just change the thickness of it. Now the last option we have works the same way as this kind of uh, the last option is inflate. We can inflate our layer, which just basically gives it rounded edges. There's no uh, straight block of material. And we can change the 
thickness of it. You can see what this looks like. We can change the thickness of it uh, by the same means as we did the extrude. So we could change this to 0.2. Come over here and and create the object. We just made it less thick. So, and I went through and, and just playing around uh, started making a tandem bicycle in 3D. Uh, it's not it looked kind of choppy right now. It's not done. It looks kind of choppy because it doesn't show the full 3D view, but if it's rendered It actually looks like that, and the seats, you can see there's a three-dimensional thickness to them. So that's the program, um, and again, you can, you can change the colors. Uh, there's not a lot of options. You can't give it one color on the back side and a different color on the front that I know of. Um, so that's one of the limitations. but you can change the colors. So I can go in here and change it to a green. So that's it. And right now I've got the outline and stuff on. So that's it.